Hi, and welcome to see my project where I'm trying to make this electric go-kart handle a lot better than it used to be from the factory. So this is our kids uh, cross cart. It has a, a 48 volt battery at the back and it has a throttle pedal, brake pedal, ignition key and what is the cool feature is that it has three different uh, top speeds that an adult can uh, adjust with the key and that has been really nice like 25 or 30 kilometers an hour. But yeah, uh, the frame is metal, it's really solid, but the problem that this has is the handling. In the summertime, it's, it was pretty nice on the like, uh, gravel road, it, uh, it did handle pretty nicely, it did accelerate nice, uh, braking was good, but when, when we got to tarmac we tried to turn, it understood really, really badly. So what was the problem is that the battery is really heavy, and it's at the back of the uh, car. It's actually on top of the rear axle or even a little bit over it on the behind. So that's making a lot of weight to the rear axle. The axle is solid, so there's no uh, differential. So that's why it was understeering a lot. It was like hitting the brakes when you turned on the asphalt. So I was thinking like maybe I can take the battery and uh, try to disassemble it or put it in the different uh, space but basically there is no better space than the back like in the front this car is really short on the inside of the car there is no space because there's all the throttle levers uh, braking levers uh, and the driver has his own space so the back is only logical place uh, otherwise it would need like heavily modifications to the frame so I decided to check what is the battery inside and I, I took the cover out and it, it turned out that it has a four 12 volt batteries in series as I was thinking that it would be and uh, yeah these four batteries they work, work perfectly but they are really heavy so I was thinking like if I put a lithium battery in and I actually got a 48 volt lithium battery that will fit into this box uh, I put it there and actually this whole uh, 12, uh, 48 volt lithium battery pack it weighs less than one of these 12 volt batteries so this to total weight of the pack is gonna be less than one uh, fourth of the original one so I put it there put all the connections uh, as it were and took out the uh, charging port that this battery needs it has a different charging port and then uh, assembled everything back to the original uh, battery box. I could have even put it to some different place, but it was really convenient this way. Uh, yeah, so now the battery pack is there, it's charged, and uh, the weight of the rear is now, it seems to be pretty much the same as the front, and I expect when the driver comes in the middle, it's gonna be, the balance is gonna be pretty close to perfect. Yeah, it turned out, it works like a charm, it has at least the same power, even more. I could even make the electrical connections better, so I would uh, take up a part a little bit of these original ones, but they seem to work, so let's keep it less as it is. Um, okay, this project, it was a 20-30 minute uh, work. I have another one, electrical car that I'm working on, it's a Model S Tesla and I'm taking that engine, battery, all the electronics and putting it to my Mercedes-Benz G-Class. So that's a little bit different scale of uh, project. And uh, if you want to watch it, uh, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, the video, first video about that project is coming really soon. Hey, thanks for watching and uh, yeah, see you later.